What is up guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about my college experience and give you guys some tips on college. So let's get right into it. All right, so the college that I went to is called Butler Community College, as you guys can see. And I went there for two years, and I was a part of a show choir, which if you don't know what a show choir is, here is an example. And the show choir is called Headliners, and my senior year, I had to audition in order to get into it. So the first year, I actually ended up playing drums, because my buddy Jesse and Wade, we all played an instrument. I played drums, Jesse played guitar, Wade played bass. And we said, hey, how cool would it be if we all made it? So we all auditioned and we all made it. So we were actually part of the combo, which is the band that plays behind the actual show choir. And then my second year, I decided to actually try out for show choir because I did show choir in high school. And I made it and it was one of the coolest experiences of my life because I learned so much not only just about singing and dancing, but also more about life and what it means to be a family. Because I was surrounded myself by people who were Christians and just really, really cool. So when I was in high school, I was actually more introverted. I didn't really know how to make new friends because for the whole four years, we all just kind of talked to the same people. And so it wasn't until college that I actually started being more social and learning how to get to know people. Because if you guys know anything about the headliners, everybody's like super extroverted, way out there, really, really social. So I had to learn quickly how to make new friends and just be more social. So I will show you guys my shirt actually from headliners. So this is from my first year. This is the shirt for headliners. And on the back, says my name and then number one because whenever we would number ourselves off combo would be number one and then my second year when i actually sang and danced these were our shirts and i think these are really kind of cool and then on the back i was number 18 because we had 18 men and anytime before class we would always number off headliner man one two three all the way to 18 to make sure everybody was there and they did the same thing with the headliner ladies and on top of that we also got jackets so this is my headliner jacket and these things are actually really cool so it says butler headliners right here and then on the back big logo it says butler headliners as well and these things are really cool the ladies like bedazzled theirs and made them all pretty and the guys are just pretty basic. We just kind of kept them. So the jacket was just kind of cool because we'd wear it and everybody around would know who the Butler Headliners were. So there is tons of traditions that the Headliners actually do. I might mention some in some further videos, but I'm just going to give you guys a couple. One of the things we would do is we'd have a bookmark and at the end of the year, everybody would go around with the bookmark and have someone's name on it. And we would write like a couple words about some memories or just anything positive. So everybody would sit in a circle. We'd pass down each other's name cards and we would sign something on them. And it's really, really neat just to see what people write on your card. So the next thing we would do as tradition, we would each get a two by four and then people would decorate them and then we would all sign them. So this is mine. The first year I did drums. And so then everybody signed it. And it's just really, really cool to go back and look at this over the years. So it's really kind of cool because everybody signed it. So I'll have this for years to come. All right, so I want to keep this video somewhat short. I could go on and on about headliners, but I'm going to give you guys some clips and videos actually from headliners. Now, I actually just stumbled upon this GoPro footage. I thought I lost it because for a while I was having issues with my laptop and I thought all the files got deleted. Luckily, I saved it to my iCloud. So without any further ado, I'm going to make a little edit of some videos and pictures of kind of my two years of headliners so let's get to it Arts and what is it like to be a headliner? Oh. It's learning how to be a man. What? Uh, the best transition from boyhood to manhood honestly happens here. Uh, you learn about yourself. You learn about your professional. Um, you learn how to work with others. Um, and you, you kind of learn what it means to be around people who really love you. And this is just a unique place to have that happen because after these two years, it's not going to happen somewhere else. And uh, that's the thing I'm going to cherish most when I leave. It's just that kind of love that's just between everyone.
Yeah, it's good. Oh, okay. Yeah, bro. Really? I know. That's, it's, it's awesome, bro. I'm part of the ball. Okay. It just from like the pit. Because I like sat on the lights and it fell into the pit. Yeah. Dang. Ready for show.
I do with this? I don't know how to turn it off. No, give that to Austin. Okay. How do I turn it off? Yo. Jack, are you ready? Yeah, let's, go. let's go! Let's get it. All right, free circumcisions. Yes. Uh, probably no. <laughs> oh, I love you, Graham. Let's go. Say it, boy. You ready, Timmy? Is Timmy ready? For what? For the show, bro. Yes, I'm ready for the show. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, for what? You're like, what, what are you doing? doing? No, dude, I'm gonna try to like vlog some of this so we can put it together at some That'd point. Cool. I yeah, bro. Down. Down. That, I like that. <laughs> You're <ugly. It's> not <laughs> oh my God. I'm walking alone, the streets are empty. The only thing I can see is my own silhouette. I'm getting stronger, step by step. The clock is ticking, but there's no time for me.
guys enjoyed that little edit. It was just a fun experience overall. I really learned a lot, um, just how to be more social, how to communicate with people. So for this next part of the video, I'm actually gonna be sharing with you what tips I learned from college and some advice if you're just going into college. So for my first tip, it's going to be learn how to meet new people. Now, this is a huge life skill that you're gonna have for the rest of your life. So there are three questions that you guys can use when meeting new people, especially in college. So number one is going to be where are you from? Number two, what is your major? And number three, what are you doing after college? Now, these are three basic questions you guys can use. It's a great way to kind of break the ice and just really get to know somebody. And following that, when people talk about their major and what they're doing after college, you can also ask them what kind of hobbies they have or what's their dream job and what steps are they taking to achieve it. So while doing this, you want to make sure that you're also being yourself. Don't try to be somebody that you're not. If you're not happy with who you are, always look to improve and surround yourself with great people. So I cannot stress how important it is for you to surround yourself with people who are going to build you up because who you surround yourself with is really going to impact how you react and also who you become. So once you get better at meeting new people, the next step is to actually excel in class. So that brings me into my next point which is to show up anytime you're in class just show up get the work done and i promise about 95 percent of the time you're going to pass that class try your best not to procrastinate i've done that before and honestly it just gives me anxiety it stresses me out and i like to get something done before i can have fun and do other stuff another tip is just to be smart and have fun if you're on scholarship or something don't do anything that's going to potentially ruin your college experience and kick you out of that program so my last tip for you guys is to improve yourself not only mentally but also physically so every day try to bring branch out of your comfort zone and do something a little bit different than you did the day before. For me, that was changing my mindset and being more positive because at the end of my second year of college, I went through some stuff that I really had to focus on my mindset, changing it and improving it to thinking more positively. So overall, meet new people, surround yourself with people who are going to build you up, show up and improve yourself. Now that is some advice that I give you not only in college, but also anywhere in life. And if you are a headliner watching this, you guys can comment down below. Hit me up if you guys want to. I will definitely come and watch your performance. I love getting to meet new people and just hearing you guys' stories. So whether you are a headliner alum or currently in headliners, let me know some of you guys' stories or what your first experiences are with the headliners. And anybody else watching this, let me know what kinds of college advice you would have down below for anybody who is just now going into college or any aspects of life. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Right now, I have a couple more classes I'm going to take at Butler. And then after that, I'm just going to dedicate my time to YouTube and my full-time job and other aspects of life. So thank you so much for watching. Please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.